Good morning, student. I am Priyanka Kulsundar, Assistant Professor, IT Department. Now, today's topic is generic process model. In our last video, we will discuss about what is software engineering, then why software engineering are required, also examples of software engineering, nature of software, and software engineering process activity. And in this video, we discuss about generic process model. Now, generic process model. What is nothing but the process? First one is, process is nothing but the collection of activities, action and task. Collection of activities, action and task is nothing but the process. Second one is activity. Activity means you have to achieve objectives then with application domain, size, complexity, etc. Third one is action. Action is nothing but the task. Okay. Action is nothing but the task. And last one is task. What is task? Task is a small, well-defined objective. Okay. Now, process framework model. What is process framework model? A process framework is a collection of software activities which forms a complete foundation or base for software development process. Okay, complete foundation of software development process or software engineering process. In short, generic process framework contain umbrella activity and framework activities for example, tasks which are part of the framework. For example, tasks which are part of the framework. A framework for the activities, action and tasks that are required to build high quality software. In our previous slide, we discussed about activities, tasks, etc. So, Framework is a basic structure of software development process. Now, we are going to discuss and understand the generic model which is used for the major and various project. This model is known as the process framework model. Okay? Or generic process framework. Now, in that, there are five points included. First one is communication, second one is planning, third one is modeling, fourth one is construction and fifth one is deployment. Now we will discuss one by one. First one is communication. We all are familiar with communication. Communication plays very important role in, in full software engineering process. Also. Communication is required with the customer. Okay. Communication is required with the customer. It is required in the software development team as well as individual team. It is required for software development team as well as the individual team. Now, the best example is that in all team members, communication help to integrate and collaborate the software process in all team members communication that can be helps or to integrate and collaborate the total software process got it also in fact when the software project start the data gathering and requirement analysis data gathering and requirement analysis are communication activities in which Full project depend. Project are depend in which activity? Analysis and communication activity. Requirement analysis and communication activity. Got it? What is the communication and its role of the generic process framework? Next one is planning. It is important activity and any major projects has to be planned properly. Same in case of software projects. 
planning is done for the time for example schedule is made okay schedule is made planning is even used to identify the types of risk that can be involved throughout the project planning is used to identify the type of risk involved in the project and very important task which planning does how to do the work or how software engineering activities will take place okay planning describe how technical tasks are going to take place planning is important because of technical tasks are going to takes place that can be described another important part it describe what types of resources are required or how that can be utilize the resources okay got it and resources could be anything for example people infrastructure machineries etc this all about the planning in generic process framework now third one is modeling this important activity which take place a modeling in the framework now modeling creates the different model of the software number of model that can be create in the software so that it will be useful for the customer as well as developer to understand the requirements of that software modeling is also important because of to understand customer as well as developer of software requirements okay and generally modeling is a part of software design okay modeling is a part of software design now four stage of generic process framework is nothing but the construction what will happen in construction stage in construction stage the design or the model is constructed by coding or converting into code okay it means the software is program or actually develop got it software is program or actually develop and it could be program and tested manu manually or automatically so in the phase of construction software is actually develop or computerized and tested it is actually develop or computerized and also tested got it and fifth one is deployment so in generic process framework the deployment is done when software is develop partially or maybe fully deployment is done when software is develop partially or fully in this phase the software product is delivered to the customer and that customer evaluate this product and gives feedback about development team got it software product deliver the customer and that customer evaluates this product and give feedback about the development team this all about the deployment okay these are the five activities which take place during the software development and this framework is applicable to small as well as large software development process it is very important and also the detail of process get change only when the project gets change detail change it means project get change but the basic framework remain same framework still remain same but the detail change the project is also change the modeling is actually called as software analysis and design and analysis is a set of task task like requirement gathering negotiation specification 
verification, validation, etc. And these tasks are necessary to model the analysis activity. All tasks are necessary for the modeling purpose. Also, design activity includes tasks like data design, architectural design, interface design, and component level design, etc. These are four important generic process framework and its activities. In this video, I cover the generic process framework and its activities such as communication, planning, modeling, construction and deployment. In our next video, we will discuss about what is model. Thank you so much.